Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Cicely Justine here and I am back with a, I guess you could say, vlog, self-care. I'm doing a self-care day, so I'm going to take you all along with me on this ride. And right now, okay, as you can see, I just did my quick little morning gig routine, did a little walking exercise, and now I'm getting ready to take a shower. And we're going to head over to our first event of the day. <laughs> I want to make sure that I don't get so bogged down in filming that I that it takes away from caring for myself because today is self-care day. But I still wanted you all to come along on this ride with me, so that's why I still decided to film. And not only did I decide did I decide to film, but I decided to do like a little reel or whatever. But um I just wanted you know, you all to come along with me, see what my definition of self-care day is. And uh, maybe you can be inspired to care for yourself, you know, more. Take time out to care for yourself. Um, I'm taking this whole day out just to pamper, take care of myself, relax, breathe. Even though I am filming, which can be hard work. Um, but I still wanted to do that to take you all along on this ride. So, like I said, I am getting ready to go shower and we're going to head on out of here. All right. So I am here just parked, getting ready to walk in, playing on my phone a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I haven't had a facial in a very, very, very long time. So please do not judge me. <coughs> nor have I had a massage um, yeah just having a baby and dealing with postpartum has been a lot um, I may or may not make a video on my personal postpartum um, experience because it's a lot it's intense and personal but um, I'll think about it because maybe it can help somebody out there um, but yeah, I'm just here, excited to go in. I'm anxious. I'm a little, I'm anxious. It has nothing to do with self-care day, but I'm anxious because I've just been thinking about like getting back out there on YouTube now that I'm kind of recovering and I'm in a better state. Um, just getting back out there on YouTube and just figuring out what kind of strategy I want to take with YouTube and Instagram. Um, I've just been thinking about whether or not I should combine the channels because I have two Instagram accounts, two YouTube accounts, two TikTok accounts, and that's just kind of a lot for me. So I've just been thinking of maybe combining. So I've just been trying to look for some YouTube experts out there that can maybe give some advice because I don't want to lose my traction, you know, that I already have, especially with my hip hop channel. Um, I don't want to lose traction. I don't, in SEO, um, search engine optimization, you know, cause YouTube's kind of like Google. So I don't want to make the wrong move. And I tend to overthink. That's just something that I do. Um, but I think once I get a strategy in mind, and I like go after it full force, which is my plan, then it's going to be over with <laughs> in a good way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been thinking about why I'm anxious on my own self-care day. I should be relaxing, not thinking about stuff like that, but I am. Um, I do have mild anxiety, so, or severe, or mild, or severe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just, it's 9.54, my appointment's at 10, so I'm getting ready to walk in right now for my facial and massage. So, here we go. Alright, sorry about that. So, 
My massage was everything. I just picked up some Panera, just a Mediterranean veggie sandwich and a side Caesar salad. So I'm gonna eat that here for a second. But just wanted to talk a little bit about my facial. I don't get facials often and that's something that I'm gonna do my best to start doing more as well as a massage. I haven't had a massage in who knows how long. Probably over a year and a half. Yeah, over a year and a half, probably like two years. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna definitely try to get more massages more often. My facial was great. She tried to educate me more on microdermablation or derma planning and stuff. I'm gonna do my research about it because I don't know much about either of those. So I'm gonna do my research and see if it's something that I wanna start incorporating or start doing. My massage was great. I had so many knots in my body. So many knots in my body. But she managed to get all of those out. I feel so much better. My anxiety is gone. I feel more relaxed. I feel like I'm ready to conquer. That's something that I really need to do at least once a month. I really need to get a massage like once a month. I really do. Me and my masseuse. Not sure if it's better to be silent or not, but we definitely weren't. We were very open. We both have two boys. And um, both in relationships. Well, I'm in a marriage. And we are just talking about having children. How traumatic of an experience. It's beautiful, yet traumatic. And how postpartum really affects us. And like things that we should need, things that we need to be doing or should be doing to heal ourselves. And it's a process. Life happens to all of us. All of us have different set of problems that we're dealing with. But as far as healing goes, it's very, very important that we do what we need to do to heal. We were talking about pelvic floor and carrying all that weight in your pelvic area for those who've had natural births having a baby coming out from through your pelvic bones and I suggest every woman after you have a baby you need to go see a pelvic floor therapist period period point blank point blank no, without a doubt. Because me going to pelvic floor therapy has really done wonders for me. I'm going to share my experience and some of the techniques that I was taught on my channel. Um, but it's so important. Please. Please. So, I'm going to enjoy this sandwich because I'm running out of time. And I will catch back with you all in a minute. vlog by getting in the bathtub and doing a bubble bath and like some reflection and things like that but I realized that after a wax you're supposed to wait 48 hours before you submerge in water so that didn't work out. <laughs> before I end this vlog I just want to touch on the importance of self-care if 
Self-care can be taken lightly and it's, it shouldn't. It's very important. It's very serious. And it's not something that you should take lightly. We have to take care of ourselves, especially us moms, because we have to have the strength, the stamina, the endurance, the mental endurance, the emotional endurance, the physical endurance, the spiritual endurance to be the best moms that we can be. Not only that, the best wives, girlfriends, fiance, whatever. The best you that you can be. Because God made you, made us for a reason. And we have to have the strength to be able to do that. And if we aren't taking care of ourselves, we aren't going to be able to fulfill our missions. Being mom is just part of the mission. Being a good wife is just part of the mission. You were made to glorify God. How are you doing that? How are you going to do that if you're not taking care of yourself? See, if you look at me starting to preach. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so we need to start taking care of ourselves, being serious about it, right? Start slow. Take one day out of the month to take care of you. Just you. Get a babysitter, drop them off at your mom and daddy house, drop the kids off, make your husband at work, Take you take off work, go get a facial, massage, get your feet done, sit in silence, take yourself out to lunch, get a cocktail, whatever needs to be done to fill up your tank. Right? And remember, speaking of filling up your tank, which has really nothing to do with this video, but it's on my heart. Filling up your tank. A lot of times when our tank isn't full, we look to other people to fill that tank. Other people can fill that tank only so much. God has to fulfill the rest of that tank. Remember that. Think on that. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. I hope you all are gonna take self-care as seriously as I took it today. It seemed like, oh, this is just a trendy thing to do. You know, self-care, everybody don't. No, this was serious business today. Serious business today. And I hope that you take serious business when you do your self-care day and take it serious as well. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for life, grateful for breath. Um, I'm gonna listen to some lingerie, just kind of wind down and take it day by day, day by day. I'm just taking it day by day. You should take it day by day. And I'm going to end the vlog here. I know I just said that about five times. Um, but I'm going to end this vlog self-care day here. It's going to be a quick upload. I really hope you enjoy it. I enjoy doing these. So I'm going to do more videos. Maybe morning routine, night routine. Things like that. Day in the life, mom vlog, travel, vacations, hair. Because y'all love my sister vlogs. So I'm going to make sure to keep uploading videos. I hope you all enjoyed this. And please give me some suggestions down below. I would love to hear it, please. But please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below what you think about this vlog. If you want to see more. Um, I don't even know if this is a vlog. I don't know. I'll name the video to determine whether this is a vlog or just I don't know what to call this. <laughs> But I know that I did take care of my self-care day and I took very good care of myself today and I'm grateful for that, grateful for you all. So hit that like, subscribe button, comment below. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.